Hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you? My name is Sarah. Maybe you know me already. Put a message, write a message so I know who you are. Okay? Let me know what your name is. Oh, hello, Elena. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Andrea, hello. <laughs> My two loyal followers. <laughs> Okay, so today it's uh, level one, two. So I am speaking very slowly. <laughs> I want you to tell me your name, what's your name, and <laughs> how old are you? Age is just a number, Andrea. <laughs> You don't have to tell me how old you are. I think we have some younger students today. So, hello, guys. Tell me your name and how old you are. My name is Sarah and I'm 22. <laughs> You can lie, Elena. <laughs> you look good for 50. Very good. <laughs> Hello, Carmenza. Hi. How are you? Thank you for joining. Oh, you're 68. Happy belated birthday, Andrea. The 20th of March was three days ago. <laughs> Hello, Lucia. Hi. Hi, Federico. Oh my goodness, you're seven. Hi. You're very good. <laughs> Hello, Miriam. Miriam Juicy. How old are you, Miriam? <laughs> we are going to have a fun lesson today, all about animals and colors. I'm sure you know all your animals and your colors. Beatrice, hello, and you're 10. Wow, you're a big girl. <laughs> Fantastic. Miriam, how old are you? How old are you, Miriam? Hello, Max. Max, is that your name? Hi, welcome. Welcome to level one, two focus activity called At The Zoo. Yes. We're going to have a fantastic lesson today. Okay. I am going to go to the first slide. Miriam, you are seven as well. So Federico is seven. Teresa is ten. Miriam is seven. Elena is fifty. <laughs> and Andrea is incredibly sixty-eight. Okay, very good. Now, so, oh, look 
at the oh hello Gaia hello and you are 10 like uh, who like Beatrice <laughs> Carmenza you haven't said your age <laughs> so very welcome you're the grandparents <laughs> Hello, Francesca. Hello, how are you? Okay, so look today, what are we doing? We are looking at colors, we're looking at can and can't to describe what animals can do and what animals can't do. Okay, we also describe an animal with colors and adjectives. At the end, we will do a game. Hi, Federico. Hello. Hi, Vittoria. Oh, Federico, okay. Federico is Francesca, of course, of course, yes, I got it. Hi, Vittoria, welcome. Okay, so colors, animals, and can and can't, okay? Look at all these beautiful animals. Oh, you like games? Good, Teresa. I like games too. <laughs> Look at all these beautiful fish. Look at all these animals. Okay, we are going to look at pictures of these animals in a moment. Okay, so first question. How many animals can you think of? Hmm, how many animals? Here there are some pictures that can help you think of animals. So first, tell me all the animals. The elephant is very, very big. Yes, it is. The elephant is very big. Very good. <laughs> okay, now, so can you think of Vittoria is 10? Oh, very good. Okay, so now tell me all the animals you can think of, okay? Name all the animals you can think of, all right? So, what animals can you think of? What animals? So, for example, cat or dog or, okay guys, France, Federico, Vittoria, Carmenza, Teresa, We have two Federicos, Gaia, Miriam. What animals can you think of? You can, oh look, very good. Andrea says the lion is the king of the forest. Indeed, he is. Francesca, very good. Good girl, Gaia, very good lion. Penguins, monkeys, giraffes, dogs. Good, very good. And I think that's Matteo Cozzi, that's uh, Carmenza, right? The tiger is beautiful. Yes, beautiful, we write like so. Look, beautiful, beautiful. 
It's beautiful and orange. Yes, uh, giraffe, Lucia, good girl. And Francesca says crocodile. In English, cocodrilo, it's different. It's almost the same, but not quite. We say crocodile. Look, crocodile. Who else have we got? Gaia says dog, Miriam, monkey, lion, giraffe. Ellen says parrot. Andrea says rhino and snake. And you see, in, Eng in English, we say crocodile. Okay? Cocodrilo, cocodrile. That's okay, Carmen, so don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Oh my goodness, we have a lot of animals here. Very, very good. <laughs> oh, look at Teresa. Cat, dog, fish, rabbit, monkey, lion, spider, I think it is, bird, snake. And Francesca has added alligator. Yes, good. And pig. Oh, nice. Very good. Dolphin and whale, Andrea. Whale. Whale is Elena. So we blow whale. And dear parrot. Yes, look at the beautiful parrot in the, in the picture. Good. And mouse. Yes. Let's not forget the small animals. Zebra, good girl, Vittoria. Well done. <laughs> we can say, Andre, we're having a whale of a time. Do you know that one? A whale of a time means a fantastic time. Gaia says, elephant, cat, cow, horse. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, you are very good. You know your animals. Pink flamingos. Would you believe I saw yesterday a flock of pink flamingos? I did. Behind my house. Bear, that's a good one, Teresa. A big bear, big scary bear. Today's a leopard. Leopard, we spell like so. Leopard. Very good. You know your animals, guys. Well done. Okay, let's look at the next slide, okay? Hmm. At the zoo. Now, here we have some animals. Tiger, parrot, alligator, flamingo, zebra, penguin, giraffe, fish, elephant, monkey, peacock, and kangaroo we didn't say kangaroo did we in our list okay so we must put the animals into categories there are three oops three categories look land terra water aqua air aria okay so we must put these animals in the categories. So where does the tiger go? The leopard is your favorite animal. Is it Carmenza? Crocodiles, yes. And bee, good one, Francesca. The bees are very important, very important. Now, let's do this. Where does the tiger go? Good, very good. The tiger is a land animal. Well done, good, very good, Francesca, Gaia, Miriam. It's a land animal. The tiger is a land animal. A peacock, Teresa. A peacock is a beautiful bird with long feathers, blue and green, long feathers. Okay, very beautiful 
bird with very long feathers. Okay. Uh, I can't think of the word in Italian. Anyway, a very big, beautiful bird. Oh, okay. So, what about the parrot? Is the parrot a land animal, a water animal, or an air animal? animal. The parrot. Parrot. Hmm, the parrot is the bird that talks. The bird that can talk. Land, water, or air. So what, what you can do, good girl, Gaia, good girl. So you can go like this, okay, parrot. Thank you, Andrea, pavone, that's it. <laughs> parrot, air. So first write the animal and then write air, land or water, okay? So I know what your answer is for, which animal you are speaking about. Peacock is pavone. Yes, Francesca. Okay, very good. So the parrot goes in the air. It can fly. Yes, it can fly. What about the, oh, wait a second. Okay, parrot. Okay, the next one, the alligator, the alligator. So first write the animal and then write land, water or air. The alligator, is it land, water or air? The alligator is, has got big teeth. Very big, sharp teeth. Yes, exactly. The alligator is a water animal. Sometimes, sometimes the alligator goes on land. Yes? So yes, Carmenza, land and water. The two with the alligator. Very good land and water the flamingo the beautiful pink flamingo all right yes gaia land and water for the alligator what about good girl victoria yeah land and water what about what about the flamingo a beautiful pink bird with long skinny legs okay so the flamingo is a bird so it is in the air category but the flamingos also go in the water they stand in the water yeah good but in general, we say air. All right, who's next? So the flamingo goes over there. The zebra, okay. The zebra, that's an easy one. Land, water, or air? Mm, the zebra. It is a black and white animal. Good. Good. Exactly. Land. It's in the savannah. Good girl, Teresa. Yes, D, the flamingo goes also in the water. Very good, Miriam. Well done, Gaia. Yes, the zebra is, yes. The zebra is a land animal. Very good. And yes, the flamingo can fly, but it also goes in the water. Very good. 
What about the penguin? The penguin, very cute animal. What do we say? Where did the penguin go? Good girl, Lucia. Yes, the zebra is the land animal. Please write the animal and then the category. Okay, so for example, penguin, and then write the category. All right. Hmm. Yes, good girl, Lucia. Exactly. It's in the water category because the penguin can't fly. No, he can't, and he lives in the water. Good girl, Gaia. Very good, D. <laughs> you know your animals. Now, look at this. The giraffe. The giraffe is a beautiful animal with long legs and a long neck because he likes to eat the leaves at the top of trees in the savannah. Okay. Now, where does he go? Is he land? Is he water or air? I have never seen a flying giraffe. Very good, Elena. He's a land animal. Thank you. Yes, first write the animal and then the category. Good, Francesca. Good girl, Gaia. He's a land animal. Okay, the next one is easy. A fish. The fish. I, well, there are flying fish. <laughs> okay, mother. <laughs> yes, I look like a giraffe. <laughs> Good girl, Victoria. Exactly. Fish. The fish is in the water. Good girl, Francesca. Yes. Good girl, Teresa. Yes, Gaia, the giraffe is a land animal. Fish is in the water with the alligator and the penguin. Okay, now what about the next one? The next one is easy to the elephant. The elephant is very, very big and very, very heavy. Good girl, Teresa. Well done. Yes, it's a land animal. Very big and very heavy and very slow. The elephant. Very beautiful animal. Good girl, Victoria. Exactly. The elephant is a land animal. Now, ooh, the next one. The monkey. The monkey. I am not going to make a monkey noise. I could. <laughs> what about the monkey? Eh? Where does the monkey live? Land, water or air? Good girl. Well done, Teresa. Well done, Lucia. It's land. Good girl. The monkey is a land animal. Well done. Yes, elephants do like the water. Now, look at this one, the peacock. The peacock. Remember, the peacock is the beautiful, good girl, Teresa. The peacock is the beautiful bird with the long blue and green, usually blue and green feathers. All right, very beautiful bird, peacock. And the last one, the kangaroo. Now, we don't have kangaroos here in Italy, but there are a lot of kangaroos. Where? 
Where do kangaroos live? What country? Good girl, yes, uh, well done. Land, it's a land animal. Very good, Carmenza. Yes, a, the kangaroo is a land animal. Now, tell me, where do kangaroos live? What country? Do you know the name of the country? Good girl, yes, Carmenza. Australia. Kangaroos live in Australia. Not in the savannah. Good, very good, Elena. Kangaroos live in Australia, on the other side of the planet. Well done, Dee. Very good. Okay. So now we have our all our animals in the three categories: land, water, and air. Okay? Very good. Let's go to the next slide. You are all great. Well done. Oh, wow. Now we're looking at colors, all different colors that the animals are. Okay. What colors are these animals? Now, wait a moment, please. Wait. Wait, aspetta, wait. Here are the colors. Yellow, red, orange, black, white, pink, green, blue, brown. We have other colors as well. Okay, like gray, purple, all right? Now, I want you to write a full sentence. Okay, for example, A, the parrot is, and then the colors, please. Okay, so I want you to write the full sentence. Okay, wait, wait, Teresa, very good, yellow, blue, red. Can you write the full sentence? So, for example, the carrot, not the carrot, <laughs> the parrot, there we go, <laughs> the parrot is, good girl, Elena, look, Teresa, you see, like Elena has written, the parrot is red, blue, and red, <laughs> the parrot is red, blue, and yellow. Okay, very good. I want the full, tutta la frase, eh, ragazzi? All the sentence, okay? And white in his face, yes. This part here, this part of the bird, this part here, it's his beak, okay? His beak is white okay his beak this is the beak here you see this is his beak his beak is white his face is white and here okay here le ali are his wings okay good girl francesca the parrot is red blue and yellow very good. His beak is white. His wings, Leali, his wings are, what are they? Okay. Oh, right. Blue, yellow, and red. Okay. His beak is, because it is singular, his wings are blue, yellow, and red. Okay. Very good, guys. Okay, now here we have the zebra. Okay, the zebras. The zebras are plural. Oh, you like the flamingo, <laughs> Victoria? You do. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, look at B though. Okay, picture B here. Okay, there. Zebras 
are, okay, the zebras are because they are plural, plural. The zebras are, what color are the zebras? This is easy. Yes, Teresa, all the sentence. Can you write all the sentence? So the zebras are black and white. Very good. Okay, so the whole sentence, yeah? All the sentence, tutta la frase. Good girl. Now, the zebras are black and white. That's an easy one. Look here. Look at this beautiful, oops. Oops, 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 oops. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. There we go. Right. Back to where we were. Good. Okay, yes. Teresa, it's easy. The zebras are black and white. Very good, Vittoria. The zebras are black and white. Good. Very good. All the sentence. Well done, Miriam. Very good. So good girl. Now, let, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Okay. Now, here we go again. Sorry. Now, look at picture C. Picture C. Hmm. What? First of all, what is the name? Can you remember the name of this bird? What is the name of this beautiful bird? It starts with a P. What's the name of this bird? Can you tell me? Can you tell me the name of this beautiful bird here in picture C? It's a... Hmm. Maybe you can't remember. Okay, I will tell you. Eh? Good girl, Francesca. Very good. <laughs> the peacock, singular. So the peacock is, well, the peacock is, peacock, good girl, Victoria. Yes, exactly. The peacock is, let's see, uh, the tiger is orange and white and black and it's beautiful. It really is Carmenza. It's beautiful, the tiger. All big cats are beautiful. Tiger, the leopard. That's okay, Carmenza. Good girl. Now, what about good girl, Francesca? Yes, it is blue and green. Yeah, very good. And it's the face, his face is black and white, isn't it? His face is black and white. He's beautiful. The peacock, no, Lucia, the peacock is blue and green. Good girl, Victoria. Lucia, you are thinking of the flamingo, I think. Victoria, good. Yes, the peacock is blue and green. Okay. Yes, exactly, Andrea. The peacock has a very long feather tail. Exactly. That's a great word. These here are called the feathers. The feathers are very long and blue and green and the flamingo is pink it is that's okay lucia don't worry <laughs> and the so you see the flamingo he has very long feathers okay look now at picture d picture d the tiger 
The tiger is. The tiger is. Well, Carmenza wrote it already. We're looking now at picture D, all right, of the tiger, the tiger with his beautiful eyes. You see his beautiful eyes? What color is he? Yes, Carmenza, the tiger. What colors? What colors? The flamingo is pink. Good girl, Lucia. And the peacock is green and blue. Well done. Exactly, Lucia. Good job. Francesca, the tiger is black and orange. Yes. And the tiger has stripes. Yes, he is he. The tiger, good girl, the, the tiger has stripes. We spell stripes with an E at the end. Very good. The tiger has stripes, no? Le strisce. Very good. Yellow and black, yes. Or black and orange and white, yes. Very good, Gaia. The tiger is white, orange and black. Or as Dee says, he has stripes. Good, Miriam. Yeah, he's orange and black and a little white. See, on his face, he has some white and his beautiful yellow eyes, I think. Okay, the next one is easy. The flamingo. That's all right, Dee. <laughs> the flamingo is... This is easy. Beautiful pink good girl good girl teresa so the whole sentence the flamingo is pink very good okay and the last one the giraffe is what color is the giraffe yeah the flamingo is a beautiful deep pink strong pink color what about the giraffe what color is the giraffe with his long neck francesca good the flamingo is pink oh teresa the flamingo is pink and your phone cover too very pretty very pretty phone cover. <laughs> Good girl. What about the giraffe, guys? Oops, I still have the tiger is up there. How do I have? Uh -oh. Here we go. Good, yeah, well done, um, Carmenza. Uh, so it's a good sentence, but we say always put the adjective before for the noun. So the flamingo is an elegant animal. Okay. Oops. Flamingo is an elegant animal. Nice sentence. Well done. Okay. But we put first the adjective and then the noun. Okay, always in English, the adjective before the noun. Good. And the giraffe? What about the giraffe? Oh, good girl, Teresa. The giraffe is brown, white, and orange. And he has like big spots. Yeah, he has big spots. Big orange brown spots. Yes, another beautiful animal. Yes, Lucia, he's brown. Yes, Francesca, good, sort of yellow, brown, exactly. Good guy, very good. Well done, guys. Okay, now we can finally go on to the next page. My mouse will be happy to click. Ooh, now, you see, here we have some lovely penguins. 
And here on the left, we must match the animal to their ability. So, for example, elephants can't fly. No. So, fly, fly, okay. Animal can fly. Which animal can fly? Okay, so here I want you to write this sentence. Okay, for example, they're so cute, they really are. Penguins are so cute. Yes. Elena, the giraffe has a very long neck. Okay, so tell me, these animals on the right, the elephant, the parrot, the kangaroo, the penguin, the monkey. Good girl, well done, Victoria. First in, the parrot can fly. Good girl, Teresa. Very good, well done. Good girl, Gaia. The parrot can fly. Well done, guys. Who's not saying anything? I can't see now, my guys. Some of my names have disappeared. Federico, where are you? I haven't heard from you in a while. There. Eh? Now, and we also have a Francesco, I think. So, good job, guys. Okay, so the next one, what's the next verb? Let me see. Swim, okay. The, uh, and swim, okay. Which animal can swim? Well, yeah, good girl, Francesca. The parrot can fly, good girl. Which animal can swim? That's the next one. Which animal can swim? The elephant. Well, yes, okay. The kangaroo, the penguin, or the monkey? Good. Yes, Teresa. And give me the sentence. Good girl, Victoria. The penguin can swim. Well done. Yes. Well done, good girl. Let me do this. The sound effects. Good girl, Francesca. The penguin can swim. Well done, good girl, Gaia. Okay, now, next one, climb. Climb. Hmm. Climb, now listen, the pronunciation. Climb, quella B. Okay, we say climb. The mm can climb. Climb. <laughs> I'm trying to mind climb. Uh, so this animal climbs up trees. He's very fast. Which animal can climb, do you think? He's a very funny animal. He's very fast. And he likes eating bananas. There we go. Good girl, Lucia. Exactly. No, it's not the kangaroo, Vittoria. He likes eating bananas. Which animal is it? Okay, who can climb? Who's the first person with the correct sentence? Which animal can climb? Yeah, good girl, Victoria. The monkey. The monkey can climb. Well done. Good. Okay, now, which, okay, this is an easy one. Which animal can walk? Now listen to the pronunciation of this word, walk. La L is silencioso qua. Walk. 
Okay, important. Which animal can walk? Is it the elephant or the kangaroo? Okay, so this is to walk, okay? Okay, please remove my comment. There we go. Okay, gone. Yes, very good. They can't, oh, they can't see all the options. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, I got it, Elena. Yes, okay, sorry. Okay, the screen was blocked. Okay, so yes, exactly. The elephant can walk. Well done. Well done. Okay, the last one, the last one is the kangaroo. So look, this is to walk and this is to hop. Okay, so the kangaroo can hop, we say. Good girl, Gaia. The elephant can walk. The elephant and the kangaroo can walk. Yes, good point. Exactly. The kangaroo can walk too, but usually he hops like this. Or something like that. Okay, good job, guys. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, so uh, let's look what we can do here. Here we have two sounds all right we have a short sound it this sound here is the sound it okay like fish like big and this sound is i i like occhio no i so we must put these words into these categories. So, fish, for example, goes here. It goes with the I sound. All right. Alligator. Where does alligator go? Alligator. Does it go the I sound here? Is it I or I? So the first here one alligator goes also look here with the I sound. Now let's look at the next one. Tiger. Tiger. Does tiger Go, good girl, Teresa. Exactly. The tiger goes with the it. So we can do this. Look, for example, you can write this. And then when you want to say exactly, like so, okay? So first the sound and then, good. I for fish, I for tiger. Okay, this is going to be great fun. <laughs> okay, tiger goes over here. Very good. What about flamingo? Flamingo, I or I? Please write the sound and then the animal or the word flamingo. Is it I or I? Good girl, Victoria. Good girl, Teresa. Flamingo with the short I sound. The next one, swim. Swim. I or I? Swim. Well, swim means nuotare, no? Good girl, Lucia. Exactly. It's the I sound. Try to write the, the letter E and then the word. Good girl. Exactly, Vittoria. Good girl. Swim, I. Good girl. The next one. Climb. 
remember the monkey the monkey can climb okay the monkey can climb does climb go in the i or i good girl teresa climb goes with tiger okay i good girl lucia well done this one here white white is it with the i or the i climb i good girl victoria and then white good girl lucia exactly white is also with i the next one orange the sound here is this in orange this a here good girl i climb gaia good girl and victoria white goes with i too this one here orange this sound here mm, think again what about this one orange orange the color orange and the fruit orange is it i or i it or i orange so it's a short i sound look very good well done it's in the i sound and this here we've got number number five number five i good girl lucia yes orange with the i sound number five is it with i or i hmm good girl teresa i five is with i orange mm, no gaia listen orange is with i okay five is with i nine number no no no, no. here we go <laughs> Number nine. Number nine. Nine is with good girl Miriam. Exactly. It's with I. Nine. And then hi. Like hello. Hi. Hi. Goes with I. Good girl, <laughs> Teresa. Hi. Very good. Nine I. Good girl, Victoria. And this one. Oops, not this one. No, la parolina questo. This. I, this. This. Not. Okay, so be careful with this. this is a short sound. Good girl. Very good, Deirdre. Yes, this is a the I short sound. Good girl, Lucia. Well done, Victoria. Yeah, hi, I. And big, the opposite of small. Big, it has a short sound. Short sound. Big. It goes with, well done, Lucia. Again, good. It's with I. Good girl, Gaia. Yes, it big. And the last one, fine. How are you? I'm fine, fine. It's nice, loud sound. Good girl. This good girl. The fine is with I. Well done. Good. Really good job in the phonetics. Difficult to do it. When we are not in the classroom, but I think we managed. Okay. <laughs> now look at this one. Here we talk about what animals can do what. So look, we use can to say what an animal can do. Quale capace di fare? All right. So for example, look. A tiger can run. Can is affirmative. Affirmativo. Can't is the negative. Okay. A toucan, this bird here is a toucan. 
a toucan can't swim. So, can you please write sentences, dammi le frasine, with the ver, with the animals and can and can't. For example, a fish can swim, a parrot can't swim, for example. It's difficult. <laughs> good girl, Victoria. Fish can swim. Very good. Well done. Okay, guys. So, affirmative sentences and negative. Okay? So, choose, Shelly, choose an animal. Fish can swim. Good girl, Teresa. Okay? You can choose any animal, monkey, giraffe, kangaroo, parrot, you decide, okay, the animal, and then write can or can't. Very good, yes, fish can swim, very good. Elephants, ooh, elephant can swim, Victoria, yes, an elephant can swim he can he can't climb an elephant can't climb but he can swim okay gaia have you a sentence for me victoria good girl gaia yes Okay, what about the alligator? Good girl, Teresa. Yes, the kangaroo can hop. Very good. Very good. Well done. The giraffe can't swim, for example. Isn't that right? Eh? Penguin can't. Come on, guys. Can and can't. Are there any more sentences that you can give me with can and can't? A monkey, for example, a monkey can climb and run, hop, but he can't fly. Good girl, the zebra can run. Oh, good. I have lots here. The zebra can't fly. No, he can't. The zebra can run. Good girl, Francesca. Well done. Good girl. The alligator. Good girl, Vittoria. The alligator can't fly. No, and the penguin can't hop, Teresa. Good girls. Very good. Well done. Well done. And yes, the elephant can swim, D. Exactly. Now, let's look at the last page here. We must describe an animal and say what it can do and can't do. Okay. Look at what, as Miriam said, penguins can swim. Yes, they can, D. Victoria says the monkey can climb. Ah, Teresa, here's your giraffe. <laughs> the alligator can swim. Good girl, Francesca. Well done, Miriam. Good. Yes, the parrots can't hop. Okay, look at the example. A giraffe is brown, yellow, and White. It can run and swim. It 
can't hop or fly. Okay? So now, can you describe an animal? Tell me what color it is and what it can do and can't do. Like the example, okay, a giraffe is brown, yellow and white. It can run and swim. It can't hop or fly. Oh, you have a, a giraffe peluche. <laughs> How cute. Okay, so for example, the uh, what can I say? Okay, the parrot is blue, yellow, and red. It can fly. It can't swim. Okay, so there is my example. All right. Can you write a sentence and describe the animal? and say what it can do and can't do and then our focus is over let's see the z good girl victoria the zebra is black and white it okay sempre l'articolo it can walk but can't fly good girl victoria well done very good very good indeed. Well done. Very good. Have somebody else added a sentence for me? I am looking to see when the next focus. Okay. The next focus for level one, two is on Thursday at four o'clock okay oh teresa the alligator is green and it can swim but it can't climb very good teresa the kangaroo can hop but can't fly elena thank you very much i'll see you soon okay guys thank you so the next focus is on Thursday at four o'clock. Okay, for your next focus. Francesca says the flamingo is pink and can fly. Yes, it can. It can fly. It's very beautiful. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, I think I'll see you on Thursday. Is it me on Thursday? Yes, it is. It's me. So I will see you on Thursday at four o'clock. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Federico. Bye, Miriam. Bye, Gaia. Bye. See you on Thursday. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thank you.